I've been doing this long range shooting thing, a lot of terms keep coming up and all of those terms truly mean something and they matter, but they probably really shouldn't. So we're gonna cover a couple of those on this one. Let's set it up with some parameters. We're gonna use a 6.5 Creedmoor shooting Federal's 130 grain Burger Hybrid and a gold medal match load. Now, when we run the numbers on these things, first of all, we're gonna talk about Coriolis, right? So Coriolis is essentially the effect of where your bullet lands because of the spin of the earth, right? We all know the earth is spinning, and when you put something in the air, the earth spins underneath it. So in relative terms, at a thousand yards, that is 2.8 inches, all right? So if I did nothing in a perfect vacuum except the Coriolis, that's 2.8 inches at a thousand yards. Now understanding that is right at or just over a quarter minute of angle. Another thing we wanna talk about is spin drift. Spin drift gets talked about in these clouds of mystery or whatever else, but it's really a simple concept. And it's about centrifugal force and the direction it's spinning of the bullet. Now, a spin drift is a really constant thing. The slower, heavier bullet you shoot, the more it's going to affect. But when we're using something that's going, you know, 2,900 plus feet a second in a 6.5 Creedmoor, it gets there a lot quicker, so spin drift has less effect because it's moving faster in a, in a lower trajectory. So, when we run the numbers on that, we get about six and a half inches. So, both of these numbers together is just over nine inches, somewhere right in there, right? Which is getting close to a minute of angle. Now, if we know the spin drift's a constant, because we can figure it out pretty quick, and the Coriolis is a thing too, and both of them together are roughly eight inches, but we're not sure what the wind's doing because we haven't spent the time to really truly learn how to shoot in the wind. From the three o'clock to the nine o'clock, a nine mile per hour wind is a 1.4 mil hold, okay? Now, at a 10 mile per hour, a one mile per hour change in wind is a 1.6 mil hold. That in itself is about seven and a half inches. So just a one mile per hour wind negates both spin drift and Coriolis. And that's saying that we have a perfect wind call and we know exactly what direction it's going and what it's doing between us and the target. So when you put these numbers side by side in perspective, do they really mean stuff? Yes, Coriolis and spin drift does mean something in the grand scheme of accuracy. But if you don't know how to call wind or if you're not in a stable position, then those two things become much, much more important when you're trying to make a truly precision shot at a very long range.